hi there gosh it's all in the news harry's book is coming out the spare and there's a lot of conflict happening between harry and Meghan, and the british royalty so what i'd like to do with this video is not to necessarily have a commentary on their specific situation but what lessons can we take from their situation around conflict and so i'm going to share three things that most people including myself have done or continue to do and if you choose to do any one of these three things you will have better relationships so who am i i'm karen valensic i am the best-selling author on amazon of spiral impact the power to get it done with grace and i have been studying and teaching conflict mastery for three decades and i have learned a lot so here's three things number one you've got to know that it's easier to get into something than it is to get out of something really important point and what do i mean by that so anytime you enter into a new relationship whether it's a family or a business um, or you know any kind of relationship you are blending two cultures even if you look alike and you're from the same town you're usually blending a couple cultures and so knowing as much as you can about those cultures before you go in is a very wise thing to do because again once you jump into that if you're what you're wanting to do is change the culture changing culture is a lot of heavy lifting so once you get in there, if, unless you're in a leadership role, um, it's very hard to change that culture. So pushing against it really is, um, is kind of futile, actually. So that's number one. Or, yeah, that's number one. So know that it's much easier to get into something than to get out of something. So number two, boy, I've, I've learned this one the hard way. <laughs> when you have a conflict with someone, be very, very, very selective about who you share that information with because once you start sharing um, and, and, and it's a very natural thing to want to do is when you feel like you've been done done bad then you want to share that with people because you and I think that there's a thing that we want to be okay so if we make the other person wrong then we're okay uh, whatever that dynamic is the problem with doing that is once you involve other people their part they become part of the conflict and you may go forward and work things out with that person and i know i have and and the thing is is once you work through it you you regain that relationship but all those people you shared it with will be sitting back and thinking judgment about you how could how could they how could they let go of all that stuff that they said? How could they do that? Because they haven't gone through your personal process of healing. That's why. And so as, as all this information comes out, and honestly, I'm not going to read the book, and I, I did watch the Oprah interview, but um, I haven't watched the series, and I really am not interested in, in getting in-depth because I don't want to want to be one of those people that, that adds into the issues. So I, so that's that's where I am with that. So number two to repeat that is be very selective who you share your conflict with, because they will go through that process with you. So number three, number three is the thing that I notice with when I work with people, mainly businesses in conflict, that um, people forget about when they have conflict is to think through what their intention is. And if you can do that before the conflict, that's even better. But when you're going to approach something to try to get some kind of connection or resolution, thinking through what is your intention? And, you know, thinking through, is it, do I want to preserve that relationship? Do I want to make that relationship better? Do I want to learn about what's going on? If, if my intention is try to, to try to create some change, then maybe... What's my intentional strategy around doing that? So being very intentional with what you say and thinking through what impact is this going to have on my conflict? Is it going to make it bigger or is it going to bring us more together? And, and is coming together something I want to do or do I want to sever this? And I, I guess I've learned from my, my own thing is, you know, you never know what 
goes, the world goes in circles. I've lived long enough to see that th all those things come back to us eventually. So I like to leave things now in my, my wisdom that I have after three decades of studying this, is I like to leave those relationships in a situation where we can, we can convene back together and there's not a lot of awfulness, but we can actually show up and bring out the best in each other. And I'm not saying um, bury, bury things that were hurtful, but I think you can explore those in a different way. Anyway, as much as I can say in a, in a short video here. So, hey, I wish you well. I hope you can, you can learn something to take forward in your own life that, that we can learn from this situation that's dominating the airwaves right now. So that's it. Um, again, my name is Karen Valensic. Hey, pick up my book wherever you buy books, Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. Hey, I bring in martial arts and physics and really look at how do we relate to each other in a way that, that we can have momentum and movement. That's it for right now. Thanks for hanging in here with me. Bye-bye.